Four weeks. We four weeks anytime we have a chance. Oh, yeah, right. If you're running ahead of schedule on your job and you're mowing, uh, you see some big weeds, take that opportunity to pull those. The services that you're going to be highly required to pull weeds, and it is actually part of what we tell a customer we're doing on the site is bed cleaning, bed cleanup, and the mowing on the weekly weeding. So guys, get these pictures moving around so that guys can see different things. Some of the things I want you to see in these pictures are in the ground covers. These are all recent pictures that we pulled off the sites. Pull, look for weeds in the ground covers. Uh, you'll see the one from Spring Hill. It's got a big shrub and there's a lot of onion grass right at the base of the, of the bush. So we got to be looking with that critical eye we talk about and finding the area where those weeds are. Some of the areas that are really going to stick out is if you got a weed growing up through a bush. One of the other big problems we're seeing right now is lots of honeysuckle coming up through the bushes. So bright green leaves, and it doesn't match the leaf of the plants coming up through, make sure we get those out of there. Usually when those are mature, they're pretty easy to pull. If it's tough to pull, just cut it out of there. That thing will take over the plant that it's growing in and kill it. Identifying weeds is going to be a little difficult. It's hard to train you on every weed. We did, I did put up a poster over here that has a multiple type, different types of weeds. There's one in there, there's one in, in the crew room. So if you're standing around, that's a good thing to look at. That'll help you get to know what we, what, you know, identifying the weeds. On most of our properties, there's going to be, it's going to be a, a structured landscape. It's not going to be a big perennial bed. So if you see four plants that are growing in a row that all look alike, and then there's one in the middle that doesn't, most likely it's probably a weed. And all crew leaders have a phone that can take a picture and send me a text message with that picture asking. You can tell them the princess from that house. Oh yeah, yeah, our princess. I'd actually prefer that. <laughs> so guys, uh, if you have any questions on pulling weeds, ask us. If you want a little extra training when I'm out on the job site or when one of the field supervisors is out on the job site, ask us. And we'll just start to get better. We got to get real good about the, the ground covers and the grasses. That seemed to be where we have the biggest issue. And my quote, and I just want you to remember that a weed is just some, is a, just a plant that refuses to grow in a row. Every time we leave here after training, we talk about our mission statement, and we probably need to promote that more because we do believe in that that our customers want the best. So, Andy, why don't you go ahead and read to us in English? Daco is provider of top quality professional services for those who want the best. And Gregorio, why don't you give it to us in Spanish? Elias Alimisión en Español. Daco es un proveedor de servicios de alta calidad profesional para quienes desean lo mejor. Gracias.